Now away from the ministry, let's head to the AFCFTA because Africa's income could increase by some $450 billion by 2035 owing to the African continental free trade area. Deputy Finance Minister John Kuma, who acknowledged AFCFTA as a game changer for Africa, expects African governments to anchor their post-COVID-19 recovery on locking productive capacities across strategic sectors. My colleague George Quaining was at the Africa Globalized Investment Forum in Accra and reports. The African Continental Free Trade Area aims to bring together 1.3 billion people in a $3.4 trillion economic block. And with adequate investment, economists suggest that the trade zone could lift tens of millions out of abject poverty over the next 15 years. The Africa Globalized Investment Forum, which is underway for the next three days, is bringing together investors, government officials, businesses, and private sector leaders to invest in economic sectors of all member states and thereafter. For the executive director, of the AFTA Policy Network, Luis Del Afo, investment is crucial to drive growth under AFTA. And currently we are also sending investors to meet the GIPC. They want to know what our needs, which areas they can do. We also hope to announce that the next country to host the summit will be an African country and we will announce it on the third day. This will bring a lot of jobs because some investors are already interested in tourism and also participating in agribusiness. The Ghana Investment Promotion Center, GIPC, also says it will offer an you know, enabling environment for investors to thrive in the country. For Deputy Minister of Finance, Dr. John Kuma, Ghana will leverage on its experience to maximize economic benefits of AFTA. Through the AFTA, we are a step closer to yielding economic benefits such as $16 billion in welfare gains. Additional GDP growth of 1 to 3 percent, employment growth of at least 1.2 percent, intra-African trade growth of about 33 percent, and a 50 percent decline in Africa's trade deficit. The three-day forum, which is under the theme Hand in Hand with Africa, Investment Opportunities and AFTA, is expected to end on Wednesday, but we will be part of all the sessions and update you subsequently in our bulletins. George Quinn in TV3 News, Labadi Beach Hotel, Accra.